What's up, everyone? Happy Friday. We are outside again because uh, we hit the 30 degree mark, and that's kind of my my uh, barrier to where we're going to ride outside. And 30, not so bad. Teens, cold. 20s, cold. Numbing. So that's kind of been my thing. So we're in the 20s. We ride inside. 30s are outside. But it's snowing because we got a big snowstorm coming here in Long Island, New York. Uh, they're talking about over a foot, maybe. We'll see if they're right. I just put the plow on the truck and uh, getting ready. Uh, sold the car this morning before we did the ride. Uh, we had a car I was selling for a client. Sold her house. She's elderly and uh, couldn't drive anymore. In order to sell the house, I had to sell her car. So uh, got it detailed by my buddy Jeff over in J&T. And uh, it's a nice car, only 40,000 miles. You guys might have seen it out there. And I uh, just sold it this morning to uh, a neighbor in town for his kid. Worked out well. Everyone's happy. Um, and then I uh, got on my ride. So we're down here doing a ride. Uh, and we got to get you the message. So a message of the day. Open up the Bible app this morning and opened up to Luke. And um, it was a, a verse about uh, do not judge. Do not judge others and they won't judge you. Um, give and you shall receive, forgive and you shall be forgiven. And the more you give will determine the amount you get back. And it's kind of theme of uh, what I've been talking about lately about um, givers get. And we don't give to get, it's just kind of what happens. We just like to give. I like to help people. I like to try and make people's lives better. Uh, a lot of people out there are suffering with different stuff. Uh, life isn't always easy. This pandemic hasn't helped make life any easier. And uh, so if I can uh, help some people around me and make their lives better, it makes me better in the process and we all grow together. Fire starts fire, as they say. So uh, it's kind of interesting that that shows up this morning because last night we went out uh, with some friends that became clients. And we went out to Blackstones, which is a big steakhouse here on Long Island. And uh, we went out for a little celebratory dinner. Um, I've sold a couple of their properties now. And I also brought on a brand new agent, a uh, new friend, John, uh, who's starting with me. And uh, we're going to uh, definitely do some big things together. And John happens to be a friend of Dan and Dan, my two friends. So uh, we all decided let's go out for steak and uh, let's celebrate some sales. Let's celebrate new beginnings with John. And have a good night. So uh, we met up out of Blackstones and uh, had a great meal. Uh, but as we went to sit down at our table, there were uh, we were walking up to the table and they were seating us and they were uh, seating two women. And um, they tried to put us at this little table and they were going to put these two girls at this big table. So we kind of looked at each other and said, um, mind if we switch tables? And they were like, yeah, no problem. So we took the bigger table. They took the smaller table. And we said, you know what, that was cool that they gave us the bigger table, uh, send them over, you know, a round of drinks, um, just as a good gesture, right? Spread the love. So later on, after dinner, we have a great meal. Um, my friend Monica is uh, one of the uh, waitresses over there. She's awesome. If you ever go over there, ask for her. She uh, lives local in Limbrook here. And uh, she took care of us. And... Um, so we had a great meal. We end up at the bar. We see him at the bar. Uh, we just start talking. And it turns out that uh, they're real estate agents. So I go, oh. so obviously I'm with real estate investors. I'm a real estate agent. Um, the one lady says, uh, you know, what do you do? Um, told them it's investors. She says, oh, do you mind if I, you know, we exchange cards with my clients? And I said, yeah, no problem. Because uh, in the investor world, if someone brings you a property, uh, it's kind of the unwritten rule that you sell it back with them. So if, someone bring, if I bring someone a flip house and they renovate it, then I get to sell it again. So if someone brings one of my clients a house that I'm not involved with, I don't expect a listed. I expect, uh, you know, them to give it to the other person. So no hard feelings. I'm, I'm happy to share. I'm happy to, to make everyone money. And then the other one comes up and I'm wearing my cowboy gear because that's what I do. Yes, some of you know that. It's kind of my... My thing, it's fun. I don't think I'm a cowboy. I just think it's fun to dress up a little bit and have some fun. So uh, this one walks up, uh, looks at my card. She's with some luxury uh, brand real estate, thinks who she is, and starts talking crap about me and saying I dress funny because of uh, because uh, the company I work for. I said, are you for real? 
I said, you for real right now? So uh, I don't get excited over this stuff. So I asked her, I said, how much did you sell last year then? And she tells me her number. And I said, yeah, well, I sold about 5 million more than you last year. So maybe you can stop talking now. So she carries on. So I'm like, all right, are you always this much fun? So uh, she made a face and walked away. And it made me think to myself, like, do not judge. Here I am, um, two nice ladies walk up. We're trying to start conversation, maybe do business together. In the real estate world, we come across each other all the time. You know, I like to network with other realtors. Sometimes they have listings coming and I have clients for and vice versa. Um, we're all in this together. Um, everyone thinks real estate is a competition with agents, but it's not. It's really a big uh, family for the people that get it because we all work together to help our clients. And that's what it's about. Uh, we get paid for helping people. We don't get uh, you know, paid for screwing with people. So um, we're all in this together. But anyway, long story short, um, she was judging me by the way I looked. She was judging me by uh the brokerage i work for and it turns out i sell more than she does so who's the, who's the one to judge at the same time i was like like really like we totally could have did business together but now like if i see you at an open house like yeah no you're not getting no offer but so anyway so this verse shows up and it talks about not judging people and that was my story so don't judge don't judge don't judge people on the way they look don't judge people on who they work for don't judge people on anything just um love love i right, listen i'm loving we bought him a drink we were going to make friends and uh network and she judged and uh obviously we'll get anything in return but so anyway that was my little silly story from last night so don't judge people give and you shall receive and uh make things happen in life the more you give the more you get so all right let's jump on prayers we're over here at the lake the geese are here waiting the ducks there's a couple of ducks mixed in there uh, we got a fire chief running over there, snowing like crazy. All right, so I'm praying. Name, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Uh, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All right. Dear God, thank you for all the people you bring in our lives. Thank you for all the opportunities. Thank you for the friends that become clients, that become friends, that become clients again. <laughs> um, thank you for the uh, new people you bring into my life daily. Uh, thank you for the inspiration uh, everyone around me. Um, I'm grateful for everything you do. I'm grateful for my kids and my family and uh, being blessed. Amen. All right. So message of the day. Don't judge and you will be judged. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and you shall receive. So, all right. Friday. Snow's coming. Uh, tonight, Broadway Tavern in Malvern. It's dad's birthday. So happy birthday, dad. We have uh, Penny Lane, the Beatles uh, tribute band. Come into play, Broadway Tavern Malvern, 7 to 11-ish. Um, it's going to be a great time. Come down and celebrate Dad's birthday, Broadway Tavern Malvern. Uh, my two listings are going to pop up as coming soon uh, today. Uh, we've got one in Malvern Ranch, and we got one in uh, Belmore on the water, another small uh, ranch. And uh, both of those are coming out today. You'll see them as coming soon. I was going to try and do an open house this weekend, but uh, with the snowstorm coming, I think we're going to push it off. So it looks like it'll be next weekend. Uh, but if you have anyone for those or are interested in those, let me know. Uh, four forty-nine and four ninety-nine. They're gonna go quick. So um, and that's about it. We got some other things in the works, and uh, we're gonna try uh, not to get buried in snow. I just the plow on the truck. I got the snow blowers running, and we're ready for the storm. So, all right, everyone. Uh, hope you have a great weekend. I'll be uh, live tomorrow, probably from the inside bike because uh, it's really. I don't think I'll be riding in a foot of snow. So, uh, all right. So, everyone, have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. And uh, give and you shall receive. That's it. We're all about giving out here. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Fire starts fire. Put your head in a pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place. Love you all.